when I test with one of these, they have like $50 testers out there that have temperature compensation and that kind of stuff. What I'm looking for with a ball tester is I want it to be even between the cells. I want every cell, if it's three balls in the first cell, I want three balls, three balls, three balls, three balls, three balls. If it's two, 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 or four, 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 what I'm looking for is I want it to be even. If I have a battery that has four balls, and three balls, and three balls, and a four ball, and a two ball, what that tells me is my battery has some cells that are not correct. They're, they're shorted out, there's debris in the bottom, there's something wrong with that cell. The only reason my battery will discharge unevenly is if there's an internal problem. And so you can buy very, very expensive meters. The one that you guys used the other day, this one here that's like 200 and some dollars, this is also for batteries. It's the one of the few dual checkers. It does temperature compensation. It gets real scientific and very exact. It, this little ball tester will tell me the same thing. What I'm looking for is, is it even? And if it's all down, that means I need to charge it. If they're all up at four, that means my electrolyte solution is even and that my battery is either really good or it's really good solution but sulfated really bad. So I can't tell you for a fact my battery is good if it's four balls all the way across. I just know my electrolyte solution is at its best. That's all I can tell you about it. The third thing, the only true test, is going to be to check for these amps by doing a load test. The only true test on a battery is a load test. If a battery becomes sulfated, this lead becomes hard, becomes lead sulfate. Uh, has anybody ever cleaned battery terminals and when you first start to clean them it was like a crusty, it's like scraping a black crusty? That is lead sulfate. So if you've experienced that, that's what lead sulfate is. It's a very hard black crust. And what you're trying to do in a battery when you charge it is trying to break that lead sulfate and push it back into solution and soften it up so that there's a chemical reaction that can take place. So if it becomes hard, what will happen to your battery is you're going to find it will have really good voltage. If I take a multimeter and I stick it across the battery, it'll say 12.6. It'll show great voltage. I take the little ball tester and I check it, it'll show four balls all the way across. My acid will be perfect. When I put it on a load test, it'll go boom, falls right on its face. And it falls on its face because there's not enough lead to actually react with the solution. And so it doesn't work. So when you load it, it will fail. And that's why the only true test is going to be that load test. How do I fix it? Discharge the battery, get it down to a real low charge, and then trickle charge it. And it may take you one to three days. And when I say trickle charge, we're talking one or two amps. Put it on a real slow charger and just let it slowly erode, 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 and it'll slowly work that sulfate back off the plate, back into solution. And so it takes a long time. One to three amps, and I would say it's going to take you at least a day. I've left them on there as much as three days. And just at one to three amps, and just try to get it to push back into solution. The other method, there's a chemical additive. It's a little tablet. Now, I don't know what the tablet's made out of, but you put a tablet in each cell, and basically what it does it, is it reacts with the lead, and it basically eats off and flakes off a layer of each one of those plates. Now, if you think about it, when I flake off part of the plate, what are the two bad things that are going to happen? If I, well, the plates are only so thick, and if I flake half of it off, plates are going to get thinner, so I'm losing lead. And where does that lead that flakes go? It's going to go to the bottom of the battery. If you look at the bottom of this battery, there's a small gap down there, and that's for dirt that gets in here and lead that slowly flakes off. And what happens is, is that builds up stuff at the bottom, builds up flakes of lead. It gets to a point where it reaches the battery plates, touches two plates, shorts out your battery. So you're driving along, 
Car's fine, shut it off, go in and get a hamburger, come back out, and you're like, dink, your battery's dead. Well, in transport, you jostled it around, and that lead sw kind of swished itself up, touched two plates, shorted the battery out, and killed your battery instantly. That's one way or one possible solution as to why it would do that to you. So this chemical thing, it's one of those things where if your battery's got a problem, you probably should just go get another battery and move on. This will buy you some time, but not that much time. <laughs>